San Filippo syndrome is caused by a single gene defect. And it's almost unbelievable to think that one letter misspelled in your entire genetic code can lead to such a devastating disorder. When children are born with San Filippo syndrome, they often appear um, typical and healthy like any other child. The first signs of San Filippo that come to awareness typically are some speech delay. San Filippo syndrome developmentally and how the child behaves often starts with something that looks like autism and ends with something that looks like Alzheimer's disease. So for the children, early on, um, there's a lot of frustration because they, they start to fall behind their peers. Parents often um, will have a sense that something is different about their child, but um, it really doesn't come to the attention of medical professionals People often don't start seeking answers until the child's around one to three years of age. And so children often end up um, having some early interventions, some early therapies, and they're diagnosed with developmental delay. San Filippo syndrome progresses over time from a child that looks very energetic, happy, healthy, to a child that begins to lose their ability to walk, to learn, to swallow and eat by mouth. They've developed seizures and movement disorders and eventually are bedridden and, and pass away typically in their early teens. So these things are really, really tough as a parent to just be starting to get to know your child's personality, they're talking to you, they're playing, and then they start to lose those skills. So you get a glimpse of what life might have been like for them, um, and then, then you start to grieve what, what you know will happen.